Okay, guys, let's start here from standing. We're going to work a, a, a variation of a two on one when it's really hard for me, right? When I get to the two on one to go for his waist. Once I have the waist, I have a lot of clothes. I haven't really tied to my partner, so my body weight moves in air anywhere, okay? So it's really good that we always want me to go for the waist because you have single leg, double legs, you know, all the leg trips, etc. Uh, like we've been working, okay? But in this case, he's not going to give me the back. He's going to try to square up with me, keeping his hips away because he knows I want his back, okay? So we're gonna be here, I'm gonna break the grip same way, I'm gonna go for the tricep. I'm gonna connect, but he's gonna keep the distance from me, exactly. So when that happens, okay, I know I don't have the waist, I'm too square with him, so I need to create an angle, and I also create momentum. So I make a small step with my left leg just to rotate my shoulder, just to push him a little bit to the side. If he happens to step, he's always gonna need to be facing me again, okay, boom. If he faces away, I go to his back, right? But when I'm here, okay, I just want to kind of shrug my shoulder. He faces me, that's my time. That's when I watch how my right knee goes on the ground. I want to stick out my left elbow so my head can pop underneath his arm. Stick out my chest, turn your grip. Stick out my chest, okay? I don't want you to be here because it's going to land hard on you guys, okay? Stick out your chest just for a second to, create, to latch yourself back into that position. And then your left leg is going to step so you can rest pretty much on your le the left side of your hips. And then your elbow is going to go to the ground. One, two, three, boom, roll him on your side. Once you get to this position, you're gonna scissor your legs and target for the underhook. Once you go for the underhook, turn your hip so you can push him, rotate his hips away. And then you can connect to your regular side control. And it's very important that rotation on the hips to really push him away from you so you can have more, uh, more control. Even if he tries to shrimp, okay? Just like do, dropping your hips down makes things harder for his knee to go underneath your hips. And then you can do the push and end up with a tighter control. Pause. 